All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, well, today we're going to be trying out my, now I've tried this out before, but I'm just doing this for the video. We're going to be looking at my D7X tool scan tool. Now I paid about uh, close to $400 for this scan tool, but it does everything. All kinds of special functions, ABS brake bleeding, key programming, uh, look at, you know, it looks at codes, looks at live data, auto scan, all this. Now, if you're serious about car repair and helping out other people with their vehicles, you cannot go wrong. My previous scan tool was a blue driver. I picked up for about a hundred bucks online. It lasted about a uh, year and a half, and then I was tired of it and wanted something bigger, something that did more. So I went looking at this, and YouTuber Scotty Kilmer pointed me toward this scan tool, uh, showing it off in his videos. So I decided to go ahead and buy it. Now, uh, I've tried doing the um, the um, key programming with my Jeep sitting there, and it kept asking for a thing, uh, you know, a pin code that I didn't have and couldn't get, so I'm going to take it to the dealer. Uh, my next chance I get, I have both new keys I ordered programmed. And, I mean, I tried for a month to get those keys to program with this, and they just wouldn't. It get, I, I don't know the pin. I couldn't get the pin. The damn dealership wanted like, uh, I think $200 just to give me the code. <clears throat> so, this is a good scan tool if you're serious about car repair. Like I said, I'm going to show you here. There's special function. Uh, agreed. As you can see, it does just about every make and model. Acura, Alfa Romeo, Audi, Bentley, BMW. Chrysler, Fiat, Ford, Genesis, uh, GM, Hyundai, Infiniti, Isuzu, Jaguar, Lincoln, Mazda, Mercury, Peugeot, Porsche, Renault, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, Volkswagen, Volvo, and Nissan. It does just about every car known to man. So, we're going to go back. And as you can see, here's everything it does. It does your instrument cluster. You can program keys. You can uh, power balance for your motor. Uh, you can uh, adjust your throttle, transport mode, uh, code in the injectors, tire pressure monitor system, reset, oil life reset, rain light sensor, um, your gearbox transmission match, Gear learning, headlight adjustment, EPA, your electronic pump activation, suspension. So, stop, start, reset. My, all modern cars have that, and I don't like it. Wears things out faster. Airbag reset, and I've tried that on my Jeep. It don't won't do right. Tire upgrade. But it does a lot for what you pay. Like I said, I paid almost $400 for this thing. And... I'm getting my money's worth. It's helped me out a lot. You can read codes. You can do the special function. Uh, here we go again with 47 updates. Damn. I updated this thing less than a month ago, and it's got more updates. But it is a new year, so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, today. <sighs> but, okay, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do an auto scan on my 2001 Ford F-150 here. Gotta have the key on. Start it up. Okay. Then we're gonna do auto scan. It's connecting. It just plugs into the OBD port down there. It's connecting. We're gonna go to Ford USA. And it's establishing the communication. usually takes a while but okay F-150 Super Crew four full size doors uh, yeah there's the information that's what it is we're going to automatic scan and it's scanning 
as you can see it's all coming up and so far we've got one two three four failures uh, the PCM has a failure the G the gen, generic electronic module has a failure the hybrid electronic has a failure and the remote anti theft personality has a failure well, I know the remote have a failure because it doesn't have a remote hooked up connected to it I'm ordering those they should be here Saturday um so what we're gonna do we're just gonna look at the powertrain control module first uh diagnose uh or read trouble code and it says retrieve trouble code key on motor off on demand set test uh continuous key on state self test Yes. I'll we'll see how this is. This has never happened before. Okay, so for the uh, powertrain control module, it's got a code for the primary circuit of ignition coil A. Uh, EVAP, gross leak detected, property gas cap, system bank 1 and bank 2, 2 lean, and cylinder misfire detected. Well, I haven't drove this truck in over a month. It's just been sitting in the yard, so... We're gonna clear. We're gonna let's see. We'll go back and clear. Let's see. Clear the trouble code for the ECU. Yes. Okay. We'll go back. Okay. And we're gonna look at the GEM. There's eight of those. Diagnose. Read info. Okay. Read trouble code. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Don't do that. It's testing all the doggone systems. Daggum it. Okay. Please see the vehicle service manual. Uh, B 1302. Failure of accessory delay circuit. Left front power motor. Yeah, I know these front regulars don't work. Um. But please see service manual, low circuit of axle disconnect, solenoid. Okay, so we're just gonna go back. It's really minor things. We're gonna clear all these codes. Yes. Okay, successfully erased. Go back again. And we're gonna look at the hybrid system. Now this is not a hybrid truck, but some of that stuff makes no sense. Failure of oil pressure switch. Well, let's test all the gauges. Failure of oil pressure switch. Well, I don't know how that could be bad considering, I mean, you know. So, I'll tell you what, we're, we're going we're gonna to clear that code too. Like I said, I ain't drove this truck in over a month, so clear. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna go to the remote and see what's going on with it. Read trouble code. Scared the hell out of me. Damn, one blue. Okay, transmission program to listen to. Okay, I don't have any for this truck yet, so I'm getting two in the mail come Saturday. It should ship today, hopefully. But, okay, no big deal. We'll go back and we'll clear that code. Perfectly fine. Yes. Okay. But, as you can see, exit automatic scan. Okay. Like I said, it does all kinds of stuff. And for the money you get, for the money you pay, you're really getting a lot. And as more, as modern cars get more and more complex with their electronics, you really need a good scan tool like this. So, like I said, it does a lot. I do have to do these 47 updates again. But, for the money you pay, it is worth it.
if you're serious about car repair, I wouldn't think twice about going out and getting one of these D7X tool skin tools. Like I said, it's about $400, a little, maybe a little more, but I got this one as on sale. So I got around less than four, but again, if you're serious about car repair, it does everything you need to do, you know, for less than $500. So, you know, I would really consider getting the skin tool. I give it 10 out of 10. It does update a lot, but then there's always new, you know, info coming out for every make and model. So, thanks for watching. As you can see, it's been running out for about 10 minutes. Temperature gauge hasn't moved yet, but 322,618 miles. But this is my review of the D7X tool skin tool here on the Ford shop yard, y'all. If y'all enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so you never miss another one of my videos. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon.